Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday. Today we did breakfast stream. Went well, it was very, very fun, um, but not as fun as lunch. I have a lunch date today and I'm very excited about, about lunch. Um, it's fun to try different places in the area. I always look forward to that. Me and Mal try to do dates, you know, every two weeks, sometimes a little more or less frequently, but about every two weeks and we get to try new things and that's very fun. Uh, me and Haley, I've been going out so we could try different Thai places and I've, getting, I've, I've gotten a chance to experience like new Thai food, which has been very fun for me. Today, I am not going to a new place. I am going to a place I have been to many times before and that's because I found out that one exists in the area. And I am going, not with Mauer Haley, but with a beardless man. <laughs> he's, he's beardless now, it's all gone. Uh, I'm about to go pick up Alex and we are going to, um, a very Stephen and Alex restaurant. When I found out that there was one in Raleigh that they weren't all gone and there was one here, and I told Alex, he was super excited and he's like, we have to go. So maybe maybe that'll give you a guess as to where we're going. I'm gonna go pick him up. And I'm excited to eat this food again. No one else is, because we were like, does anyone else want to go? And they're like, no. <laughs> no, you go enjoy that. And I'm like, okay. It's a K&W in the year of our Lord, 2023. I'm so glad one exists. It's just like Mars used to. This is, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. You got the, you, you did a pie. I did get a slice of pie. That was probably the correct. The correct call. And coffee. <laughs> you can't have pie without coffee. Oh my you god. This, the soul looks so good. I'm sure that, you know, Mel and Haley are glad they're not here, but that's fine. They're, miss they're missing out, in my opinion. So Josh is here. I'm here. And we have tomatoes. We do have These tomatoes. things are huge. Look, this is, it's like a whole board. Well, the tall one fell over. I haven't. That's the back one. one yeah, it area. fell over. Oh, I guess it did, huh? Uh-huh. Because <laughs> it stormed, what, yesterday also? Oh, no. So everything fell over. Oh, no. You can see, like, I had to cut this. It's a busted Because it was kind of busted. Yeah. But it fell over. But it was, like, way taller than me. So the tomatoes that we have are the cherry tomatoes. Yeah, that's... We don't have any big ones yet. But the zucchini's been good. I cut one off earlier today. Also, I gotta probably um, take the bird netting off because yeah. um, it's Has not it helping the tomatoes, but it's been helping the deer problem. Okay, yeah, I was just about to ask if it was helping. So, um, I have another idea to try. But, yeah, this one, I mean, look how big they are got. They've wow. gotten huge. And, like, there's so many up in here. Yeah. And, but those ones over there are, we gotta pick some of them. And then uh, we have one tiny one over here. <laughs> but like the jalapeno got real big. Oh my God, it did. I yeah. haven't been here in what feels yeah, like Yeah, it's been a while. And then um, we have little poblanos. They're like tiny. So small. And then we have a really big bell pepper. Yeah. Wow. With the netting. Yeah. There's the bell pepper. Right? center and then the watermelon's gotten big but we don't have any watermelons yet yeah at least it's growing though yeah it finally took off that's good that's good so yeah i'm gonna pull the bird netting off probably um when the rain stops in a couple days and do something else and try it for the deer now the real question is how are we gonna get to it oh i just gotta take the netting off oh okay and then we'll go inside and try them yeah okay i'm excited now okay so i'm gonna take a bite out of this uh i'm not gonna eat it in one go and that's gonna squirt everywhere do you want to go over the sink <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you can pour it everywhere. Oh my god. That's really good. It's sweet. Yeah, they're super sweet out of the garden. That's really good. And it makes a store tomato seem awful. This is the best tomato I've ever eaten. <laughs> Wait till we get the yellow one. It also feels really good just like having planted these. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. Oh my god. That's wonderful. Juicy. Mm. Flavor, actually? Yeah. Yeah. It's very flavorful. Like, mm -hmm. way more flavorful than I was expecting. Mm-hmm. Because I'm used to tomatoes being kind of dull. 
And this was kind of the boring one I thought we bought because the yellows are super sweet, the tiny ones are super sweet, and the two big tomatoes we bought are also like known for being flavorful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm used to tomatoes kind of tasting a little watery and mm -hmm. just like bland. I don't eat, I don't really don't eat tomatoes that often because I don't, it's not that I don't like tomatoes. Garden tomatoes are the only reason I like tomatoes. Like I can only eat tomatoes if they're in like a sandwich, but that was really good. It's like super sweet. Hopefully we'll do BLTs. Yeah. When we get the big ones. We're going to have to do a bunch of stuff because we will have a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> mm, it was everything I dreamed of. It brought me back. It, it's very nostalgic because we used to go to cafeteria style restaurants all the time when I was a kid. Yeah. They were a huge thing in the South in the 90s. Yeah. Um, and it's also just like, it's just like a plate of food that like my mom would have made on an ordinary weekday night. Yeah. Like green beans from a can and hamburger steak and you know. It, it, it's nostalgic for me. It is not very good. <laughs> you got, you have to know what to order. I got hamburger steak. It's just ground beef swimming in gravy. It's gonna be good. You got fried chicken. Yeah. Which was just a completely unseasoned, tough chicken breast. The skin was really it good. It very the, stringy. The, the, sk yeah. the skin was very good. Like, it came off and it was crunchy and it was, mm -hmm. that had some flavor. And I got to the actual chicken and I, I took a bite out of the chicken breast. And then Alex saw me reach over and grab the salt and salt the chicken. And he's like, in my entire life, I've never seen anyone do that. And I was like, I've never done this before. This is like a new necessity, it has no flavor. Uh, but it was fun to be in there because the experience of being in that one is the same experience as being in any K&W. Any K &K mm -hmm. And it makes me feel nostalgia for my grandparents because when my grandparents were in town, we ate at K&W every night. And then K&W went out of business. So mm -hmm. anytime I see my grandma now, we go to Golden Corral every night. Mm. Which is a different sort of cultural experience. Yeah, it yeah. tastes better well, than K&W. Yeah. You know, we'll have to find like a different cafeteria mm. in Raleigh, like one that's modern. That can be our thing. Cafeteria. <laughs> cafeteria <laughs> style restaurants are not modern. There's <laughs> gotta be one. There's no such thing. There's gotta be one. They're, they're a classic. So while we were in, uh, <laughs> Bartender. While we were in Myrtle Beach, we got me up. we got the the hot Blenheim. And uh, I think the two of you are the only ones that haven't had it. I think everyone else has tried it. I'm curious. Well, Mal described it as don't be curious anymore. Like a, a cinnamon flavor, like hot. A cinnamon hot. Yeah. That's, that's a lot. Wow. <laughs> I thought you were gonna do like a tiny pour. Nope. Oh my goodness. Nope, we're just getting the whole... Oh, Ooh. Yeah. This will be for... It's a... Uh, right. here, here, here. Let it's me... Fragrant. Just, to, wait, wait. just to prove it's that this is safe. It's a fragrant. It's a fragrant. Jesus Christ. You could be all right. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Yeah, it just goes straight through the nose. The all right. spirit of the Lord for you right Give now. Give that a shot and tell me what you think. Seems fine. It hits you in the back of the throat a little bit. <laughs> that like, face is correct. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Right, let me take my. I'm allergic to Kepler pill. Real clap. It's like it's like mmm ginger ale. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah. It's got a little spice. I don't know about that. It's nice. It's good. It's uh. It 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 like it really it just, like punches you in the back of the throat. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely in the back of the throat, but it's good. <laughs> so they make a version that doesn't punch. Well, what would they do that for? <laughs> That's the normal version. This is the punch version. Oh, because it's hot. Because this is the hot. So the other one's just ginger ale. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So is this the one you were looking for? Like specifically the hot one? Yes, or like... and because if you want the normal ones, they have them at, they have them at Publix. Oh, okay. But the hot ones I could only get in South Carolina because 
They're illegal in North Carolina. They're illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Can't have them here. In fact, I'm probably in trouble now. So is it cinnamon that makes it hot? What I don't know. It? There's pepper in it. There's yeah. just pepper in it. Yeah, it's, um... <laughs> Sorry. Pepper, 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 pepper. All right. We're Kepler good. in the background, like, twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's good, though. Twinkle, twinkle, this little is very good. hot. The last ingredient is pepper. Neat. A little peppercorn. I shouldn't have a second. At what, what we should do is we should go back to Rocket Fizz and see what other ginger ales they have. Let's find other ones. I see, I like ginger ale a lot, but... But I don't, I don't know that I would drink the hot one again. Yeah. Same. It's a novelty, mostly. Because if you want, like, ginger ale, they just have normal ginger ale. So you know Fireball? Yeah. I mean, he knows of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you've, you've had so much Fireball. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've, li I've lived and existed with this people is, who talk about things that I you don't know about. Fireball. It is different than Fireball, but it does give me that... It has a big fireball vibe. It's got big fireball vibe, which yeah. I'm not about. I have had too many bad experiences with fireball. <laughs> That's fair. That's I fair. like fireball. That was like the first whiskey I drank a lot of. Mm -hmm. well, Me too. <laughs> and then the other thing I do is I also garnish with sesame seeds. There. It's so lovely. Oh, that looks so pretty. You can also garnish with green onions, but... um. I didn't bother getting them. Oh, I have green onions at home. Green onions at home, sesame seeds. <laughs> well, what I mean is I have a bunch of extra that we're not gonna be able to use. Uh, Brandon and Mal made cream beef bowl tonight for stream. Yep. Went well. Mm -hmm. And also uh, I'm reminded of like how much food there is. That's a, a lot of beef. It's a lot of beef. Uh, historically, whenever we're done with the cream beef bowl part, we do, We'll put that with eggs and do um, like a... Scramble or an omelet? I was gonna say a, a breakfast burrito. That's a sweet breakfast burrito. Sweet breakfast burrito, which is, actually, which is actually very good because you have the savory and you get a little sweet and then you have it with a black coffee. It's real good. We don't have any tortillas right now, do we? Yeah, we do. do we? Oh. Yeah. Well, shoot. I just on one. Well, then I know what I'm having in the morning. There you go. You could throw some avocado in there. Is that, no, is that, avocado? Is that mm -hmm. avocado still good? Um, I think it's like mashing right now. Okay. But not much longer. That avocado bag has been wild because the first avocado was the one that I like broke my hand trying to mash because I opened it too early. And now we still have it and then it might still be good. I don't know. Where'd you get it from? Costco. Okay. The only place I'd ever buy avocados. Because if you buy an avocado at like a grocery store, it's like $100. But at Costco, you get like six for like five bucks or something. I think that's a good deal. Yeah, avocados I think are expensive, usually. They were, they probably still are. I don't know, I don't know. I, don't, I try not to buy anything from the grocery store if I can help it. <laughs> my, uh, my mom sent the little cinnamon rolls home with us. I actually didn't realize that until today and I saw them on the counter and I was like, oh. So that's nice. So I'm having myself a little cinnamon roll with a little coffee. Also, Mal fell down the stairs. Throwing me into the bus. Throwing you down the stairs. I mean, <laughs> you, you, fell, you fell down the stairs, and I just wanted to, I wanted it to be known because as of right now, Mal has fallen down the stairs more than me. Because I'm at one, and Mal's at two. Wait, you're... Well, you're kind of at three. What? He's you're, gunning Alex and Haley's. Remember when you <laughs> fell? I fell up. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Different category. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, yeah, okay. totally different. I have fallen down the steps once. Mao has fallen down the steps twice, and Mao has fallen up the steps once. It's fine. How many times do you fall up steps? I did fall up the steps once. There you go. We're tied in that category. A winner has not yet been decided. We need a little more time. Um... I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything notable happening tomorrow. There probably is. I'm, I just, I'm having a hard time thinking about Direct. like... What? Direct. Oh, that's right! I knew there was something. Nintendo announced they're doing a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. It's a big one, too. It's 40 minutes. And um, 
they're going to talk about Pikmin 4 because that's the next big AAA game. And that's certainly relevant because Mao and I really want to play it. Mao especially. So we'll take a look at that and see what that's about. And that's in the morning. It's actually very nice of them to not do it on breakfast stream because they normally do. Well, you talk to them. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I, I called Uncle Nintendo and I was like, now listen, no more of this breakfast stream stuff. Just do it on Wednesday. And, and Uncle Nintendo said, okay, took care of that. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?